Earlier in this module, I also mentioned Docker Compose, and it makes this whole process that we just did with this application 10 times easier. Again, as I mentioned before also, is that Docker Compose is a tool that helps you define and share multiple container applications. And so we're gonna be doing that right now. This right here was the old command that we had to run inside of our terminal to get everything running for the MySQL and to do app. But we can simply do that all of this in one Docker file. And the Docker file now changes to a Docker Compose.yaml file, or you can shorten it to Compose.yaml. So we're gonna head back into our terminal here. And inside of the root where we initially Initially put our docker file we're going to create a new file and call it compose.yaml and what docker has provided us with were a couple things so we're going to go ahead and copy and paste this now make sure it added to space here but it will error out if it has an empty space so cover that space again yaml is very strict with spacing and indentation so keep that in mind but the first thing here we're going to do is specify services of our compose file. The first one is going to be our app, which is gonna contain the image of the node version 18. So we're gonna run node in this container. Next thing we're going to do is add the command. So the command we want to run is going to be the yarn install and, and run the dev environment there. So we're gonna add that here. Next thing is we're gonna open up the ports and it's going to be the same port, the 127 on port 3000. So now we're moving the working directory to the volume mapping. And by doing that, we're gonna add the working directory and then the volumes. So let me go ahead and add that as well. And then finally, we're going to add the environments. So these environment variables are all going to be the MySQL environment variables so that we can access the database through the application itself when we add a need to do's. So again, the host, the user, password, database name, these are all there and are going to be specified for this app container. Now we're going to do the same, but for MySQL. So we saw the app container, but now if we back up a couple spaces, we're going to add the MySQL container. So you can see that these two are on the same line, one being app with all of its information here, and then MySQL will contain the same. But now we're pulling the MySQL version eight image. The volumes that we want to use for this container is going to be the to do MySQL data. So let me go ahead and add that. And then the overall volumes here are going to be outside of that. And then finally, what we need to do is we're going to add the environment variables for this specific container so we can access it. Now, everything in your compose.yaml file should look like this. Again, the top level is identifying what services that we want this file to create. The first one being our app container using the node 18 image. This is the command we want to run. This is the port that we want to expose and use to access this application. Our working directory is going to be this root directory that contains everything here. The volumes we're mapping is going to use the app. This is the environment variables we use to connect to our MySQL container that also contains its own information. And so now it's much easier with Docker Compose to run this application. Now that we have our compose.yaml file, I can open up my terminal here. Let me exit MySQL, clear this. Now all I have to do is run Docker Compose up and I can add the hyphen D flag to make sure that this runs in the background. And what that did just now was literally spit out two containers. One, it looks like it failed because I have a container running already that has 3000. So let me go ahead and just delete this and delete this from the Docker desktop app so we can have a clean slate. And let me run the same thing. And there we go. Now it's spit out the getting started app and it contains our app and our MySQL container, both of them running and we have opened on port 3000. And if I head over into our local host port 3000, I'm refreshing and you can see it's all fresh. So we are no, we're using a different volume here, but the application is now running successfully. It is attached to our MySQL database and we can continue and now add data here that will persist because we have tied a volume here to both of these containers. Now, if we wanted to tear it down, all we would have to do is Docker compose down and that will shut down and stop our containers from running. And that right there is a simple rundown of how you can create images and a container through Docker using Docker files or a compose.yaml file and then accessing those containers to do certain things. We ran a application in the form of a to-do app, and we also created a MySQL database pretty quickly here in their own environments. And that way we have coworkers that are working on the same thing. They can run the same image that we're on using the same environment variables, using the same dependencies, and essentially be able to recreate any problems or just have the same environment that we're running on 
every single time. And that is the power of containerization through Docker. We're going to be using a lot of these skills in the coming lessons. So hopefully that helps. But now let's move on to the SQL module where we're going to be using SQL, but we're also going to start our own little database inside Docker as well. So let's get to it.